Hello everyone and thanks for joining us here at Annex Dinner Table. My name is Cassandra and today we'll be unboxing Seven Souls, distributed by Inside Up Gaming, created by Connor McGooey, with art by Rise App Gwyn. In this one to six player game, you are one of HP Lovecraft's unworldly beings. You will fight to control all of humanity before you reveal your true nature and decimate humanity. We picked ours up at Boardwalk in Greenville, South Carolina. All right, let's look at that box. So the box is really interesting. We have these cartoonish-like figures that are battling these tentacles. And then after you look at it for a while, you realize that what you think is just background is actually eyes in a face. And the sides have different art as well. So here is some character art, some of the monsters and monsters. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside. We have the rule book. It's about 12 pages. Text is kind of small, but overall seems not too bad in rules. And we have a French version of the rule book as well. An ad. Then we get to some punch outs. the board and the box. This is very nice. It's got three decks of cards it looks like and a nice plastic divider in here to hold them all once we open it up. Let's get these punched out and these decks open and let's look at them a little closer. Okay, opened it all up. Those punch outs, there were the two different kinds. The blue ones are double sided with the same image on both sides where the yellow ones were also double sided but on their flip side they had numbers zero through two. They were super easy to punch out. It was a dream. Moving to the decks, we had these six decks over here which all have a different color border around them but they all were very similar um, in the upper left hand corner they were numbered one through seven and along the left hand edge had different resource looking things for each card and they were all very similar so same resources, same numbers. Then this deck with the T on it had some interesting art, very HP Lovecraft inspired. You could definitely see it with this construction. But what was really interesting was in the lower left hand corner, this one says one to six, two to six, four to six, five to six. So it seems like you'll get a different card based on how many players you have. Let's move to the book cards. These ones have some really interesting art with this person that's got a gun. And there's a couple different ones but they all are people inspired instead of monster inspired. They also have a number up top and some like resource like things along that left hand edge. But what makes them interesting is they have what looks like a spot that they want to be played in the upper right hand corner. 
then we can look at this deck. So this deck is very cool looking with these colors that match the borders of the these other decks and then they have little modifiers. Now this deck has three different cards in it. Figured we could look at them all separately. It's got this very cool, interesting looking one with a person standing on the edge and these eyes that are just very creepy looking. And then this solo eye that's floating in space. And let's look at that board. So this board is awesome. It is got this translucent paint or something that when it catches the light, these tentacles and these like dots really pop out of it, which gives it that creepy feeling of HP Lovecraft. There's spots all along the board for cards to sit, and then these different pathways leading up to these mansions. The other super cool thing about this board was that it has a full rendition of art on the back. Well, let's see how it all goes back into the box. So putting it back together was relatively simple. They had this wonderful plastic divider for us. It was a little interesting trying to figure out which cards went where. I chose to have each of the smaller decks live in the right hand side with the three eye decks on the right but under the smallest eye deck I put all of the other cards with those colored borders and then it had a nice tray for the two different types of punch out pieces then the board just sits right on top what was also very nice was inside this after I looked at it there's a thank you to all of their day one Kickstarter backward backers with their names listed here. Seven Souls, designed by Connor McGooey. If you want to see a how to play or a playthrough video, let us know in the comments. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, but don't forget to subscribe. And if you want reminders of our newest videos, hit the bell icon.